This episode is brought to you by Putris Asia Gani. Watch the Putris Asia Gani video on our channel for delicious mirabus, nasi ayam, and ayam penyet. Known to locals as Kota Jail, the Ayer Molik prison in Johor Bahru, Malaysia first opened in 1883. Designed by the then Sultan, the original prison had a capacity of 200 inmates. With the need to increase its capacity, more blocks were added and it once housed up to 1,500 inmates. While the prison closed in August of 2005, parts of it was still used as a police lockup until 2018. We are here at the prison in Johor. It opened in 1883. Right at one point, it had about 1,500 prisoners that was cramped into multiple cells. And we know that they did caning here, right, like they do in Singapore. And I also read online that there is the gallows, right? That's where they hung criminals that were given a death sentence. We have never been in here before. All we, we know is a little bit of information that we have online. So whatever you see, uh, it's going to be stuff that we see as well for the first time. Okay, so I have no idea what to expect. We know that we're going to check out some cells. We are also going to look for a well where apparently a Japanese man drown once upon a time we don't know whether that's true or not but we're going to look for this and we're also going to look for the gallows and we are going to look for the area where they caned inmates i am nervous but you know i've spoken to my team everybody is set ready to go our paranormal adventure starts now So these cells here in this block, this was quite possibly one of the, uh, the later ones that was built here in the prison. And um, those in, that we saw earlier, they are a lot smaller um, and they used to fit up to seven or eight people that would be cramped in a cell. But this one here can easily, I think, easily fit like 10, 15 inmates. Right? And this is entire block of cells. I can imagine like seven or eight sleeping in here, right? And being confined in this tiny space. Yeah, that would be, it would be really uncomfortable. That's for sure.
in case you're wondering what we're doing, um, we are sitting at the back of one of the cells and it's complete darkness. Can't see much, right? I'm not going to lie to you and say we cannot see anything. We can't see much. But we're hoping that there will be some form of activity. So we're going to keep quiet. And if any one of us hears something, we'll say, okay? Okay, here we go. Painting on my right. Painting. Yeah. You wanna swap pieces? No, it's okay. okay. Maybe once you, because I, my side is fine. Uh, do you hear that, AZ? Hmm? Do you hear any panting? Yeah, from this now. Okay. If a demonic entity would want to scare you, right? and it will scare you in a form of an entity that you know of, what would be the entity that you are most fearful of? Shaq, I'll start with you. I've ever been chased by a pochong, so I can only relate to a pochong. If I ever were to see a pochong again, I don't know how I would actually. Okay, so for you, the pochong. Okay, what about you, AZ? Yeah, as you were saying that, I also think about that way. Yeah, I've the recent video uh, about the sing post, that was the thing. Ah, okay, the one yeah. that you mentioned that, that you yeah. saw a pochong. Yeah. Okay, so the, for the both of you, it's a pochong. Okay, for me, it will be a child ghost. Um, yeah, because I've seen that before and it freaked me out, man. And... The reason why I ask this question is because places like prisons, it's very common for demonic entities to roam because of all the bad people that were here, all the negative energy that they can feed on. So if there is, or there are still demons roaming the grounds of this prison, um, they might show themselves in the form of our fears. So we know that right now it will be the pochong and a child ghost. I feel like the, the atmosphere changed. Yeah. Yeah? It's like colder now. It's really cold on my side. It's yep. not when I was talking about the pocho. Oh. Sorry. Something on my right. So it actually freaked me out a bit. I didn't end my sentence, but actually it's... I heard whispers. Then we can move up. Okay. You wanna move? Yeah. I feel like the 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 fun has just begun. But if you wanna move, it, it, it it's okay because there's still a lot of places to yeah. explore. Yeah. yeah. Right, right. And it's what time is it? It's uh two thirty-five. Yeah. Okay. The energy. Right. Let's explore. Yeah. Uh, whatever is here, right, is gonna follow us. Yeah. I feel, yeah. right, it's gonna follow us. So, let's go. This one says, I must go back and see my mother. We are just behind you. You go there? No, no, Vinny. Really. Yeah? We need POV, bro, ready for the show. 
I'm just behind you. Whatever you see, I will see as well. Then I will go in front of you, okay? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. cells are a lot smaller right it's usually for one individual and these are called the isolation cells um, and they are reserved for criminals that are deemed to be dangerous okay um, energy feels different here the smell it's it, it just smells different as well I can't explain it. it's like pungent so the feeling isn't really good but you know what since we are already here we're gonna explore this place uh, yeah. The last time I was in a solitary cell, that was many years ago when I first started as a paranormal investigator. It was at the old Yun Tong Sing uh, police station in Chinatown. And I was alone in a, in, a, in a cell like this, but it was a padded cell. And I had the most amazing uh, paranormal experience ever, ever. So I'm hoping that we'll get something here. I think this is the block. Our investigation of the second floor of the solitary confinement block did not yield any paranormal activity. Didn't do the segment that you said sit alone, set yourself. Yeah. So I thought the team forgot about this. We reached the outside uh, of the complex. It's now 4 a.m., right? Rather 3.55 in the morning. So I'm gonna spend quality time alone in this cell, number four. Uh, a lot of my Chinese friends say that the number four means die, right? Because uh, it's C, uh, C means die, right? I think it's C, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm gonna be in there alone. Uh, the team is going to be far away. We have, uh, I think, no forms of communication, right? So if I shout, hopefully they hear and they come for me. Huh? Okay. Oh, yeah. 
cell four. Yeah, four a.m. cell four. There's all these uh, offerings that was uh, placed here. So for some reason in front of the cell. After spending close to 40 minutes alone in this cell, I tapped out with a pounding headache. There are more questions than answers. Which entity created the footsteps that I heard when I was alone in the cell? And why didn't we get more readings on our paranormal devices even though we heard eerie voices throughout the investigation? Images from this investigation is coming up next.